secret Asian man, secret Asian man. Got something in the mail today. Kind of uh, excited about it. What it is, is a gas check maker. And it's a free checks. And I'll put the uh, description below in the website. Um, what it does, it makes gas checks. And I'll show you here real quick how you make one. Basically, you've got a bushing here. And you put... You put uh, aluminum. You can either get aluminum flashing for like on the side of your house, or I just use beer cans. And um, the maker, FreeCheck, sent a little information package that uh, has all the all the information on uh, how to do it. And he recommends to stay around the 11 thousandths thickness range. Now, beer cans only run about five or six thousandths thickness so that's about four thousandths so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double up on them uh, where's my other one there it is um, and what you do is basically what I did was I made a box I'm not gonna show you how I made the box it's, uh, you can figure it, it could be any box if you go to Iraq veteran 88 88's page uh, he's the one that uh, where I found the original video of this system, uh, and basically I just made a, a a little two by four block that I set the bottom bushing in. The bottom bushing. Uh, this is for two two three, so I'm kind of excited to be able to make some of those too. But I'm just going to demonstrate the three fifty seven. Um, so you, anyway, you put your sheet metal in there, and you want to line it up where it hits the back of the bushing just right and then you've got the first cutter what the first cutter does it cuts a round disc and then you just smack it with a, a mallet or whatever and that cuts the little round disc so then you come back through without removing the cutter and then you punch out the uh, the gas check. Now I'm going kind of slow because I just this is the first time I've ever used one of these. Um, I did try it out a little bit, but Iraq veteran can can crank these things out. So uh, go check him out. But anyway, um, you keep doing this, and what falls out is this little thing. It's a gas check. It's like a little bottle cap. So some of you are probably asking, okay, that's nice, that's a gas check. What the heck is a gas check and what is it for? Well, what a gas check does is your standard bullets, your standard cast lead bullets are what they call plain, uh, plain end or plain back bullets. And when you shoot it through your gun, uh, you you can't exceed a certain velocity otherwise the lead will melt in the barrel and let up the barrel is what they mean by letting up the barrel the lead actually melts into the barrel and it's a pain in the butt to get out and you either have to scrub real hard or shoot some jacketed hollow points or jacketed full metal jackets to, to try to get as much of it out as possible so what a gas check does is there are special molds and that's why I have these here there are special molds that have a little recess that lets you put these little gas checks, these little bottle caps, on the end of the bullet so that gas check makes an airtight seal and it acts as a scraper because you can make them out of aluminum or copper but um, I'm just going to make them out of aluminum because I'm not after that high of a pressure. Uh, but the aluminum will actually as a scraper to scrape out the, the lubes and grooves and lands, lands and grooves in your barrel to keep them from letting up now, I've heard the argument about, well, you know, you, you're going to get aluminum oxide, and aluminum oxide is actually an abrasive that they use in industry to, uh, you know, it's kind of like a, a sand, it's really hard, and it, it can abrade your, your barrel, but they do make aluminum oxide lube, case lube, or, or not case lube, but bullet lube, so if that's okay, I don't, I don't seem to see it's a problem, and, and I've read other posts that say it's, uh, they've shot 
thousands of rounds of aluminum gas checks through their guns and it's not a problem but anyway here's a standard bullet mold and let's see if I can zoom in here so if you look at the end of the bullet mode he, mold here you can see it it's straight um, it's the the end of the bullet that comes out of a mold like this this isn't the, the right bullet for the mold but it's gonna be straight that's not recessed so you have to get a special bullet mold if you're gonna mold bullets that take gas checks and what's nice is um, you can actually shoot bullets that take gas checks without gas checks so anyway here's a bullet mold that takes a gas check and um, you can see in the in the end here it kind of tapers in so that means there's going to be less lead there at the end of the bullet this is the nose nose of the bullet here's the back of the bullet so you can see there's going to be less lead at the at the back of the bullet to receive this gas check and then what you do is if they don't if they don't stick um, you put them through your bullet sizer and it crimps the bullet on or if they do stick and you don't have a problem with it you just set this in your your casing and and do what you normally do with it but anyway so that's the gas checks system well actually this is the gas checks 2 system he's got a gas checks 3 system and I'll show that later but you can go look that up um, what it is is it's a single single punch system and uh, what you do is you stick this on an arbor press and in one punch it cuts it cuts the metal and and makes the gas check all in once and then the spring turns it back and then what you do is you take this out and all the gas checks will be sitting in here and you just kinda kinda tap them out and they come out so uh, in fact there's one in there right now Let me poke it out oops and that's a that's a gas check there that's a for 44 magnum so this is an economical way to get jacketed bullet performance out of cast lead bullets and I thought I'd just show that and uh, it's it's a really nice system and I just wanted to showcase it for the um, for the manufacturer of it he's uh, he's a uh, I think he's like a one-man band but check him out it's free checks uh, freechecks.net I believe up anyway I'll put the description below but yeah if you're into reloading and and uh, want to save some money from buying jacketed bullets from you know Midway or somebody and, and want to make your own and you already have casting equipment um, I think this two mold Lee uh, uh, gas check bullet mold is uh, about 26 bucks and the uh, the gas checks you have to you have to check the price I believe uh, it was 70 bucks so uh, if you buy this and you buy the gas checks from from Midway I think they're running about 30 or 40 bucks for a thousand so yeah you have to crank out quite a few to make your money back but uh, like I kinda mentioned in another video that either I'm gonna upload or have already uploaded about reloading this it's it's uh, buying power for me it's it's time I would have spent doing nothing anyway so I can either sit and watch TV and do nothing and drink beer or I can make bullets and gas checks and drink beer so anyway I uh, hope you learned something take care see you later